And I'm here to talk to you about making better stuff. Because when designers make stuff, we don't just make one thing. We make thousands of copies of it. Often the stuff is made overseas, using poor labor practices, under substandard environmental regulations. Then the stuff gets shipped to big box stores all over the world where we buy it for cheap. To top it all off, the stuff that we make and then buy isn't even making us happy. The research shows that once we reach middle class status, nothing that we're buying is really adding much to our happiness. There has got to be a better way. As a designer, and as a part-time anthropologist, I believe that products and objects, that stuff, mediates human relationships in both negative and positive ways. So when I say make better stuff, I mean stuff that strengthens our relationships with people in our communities and stuff that creates local jobs. It's not easy to do, but it is getting easier. So I want to point out to you two encouraging trends. One is about meaning, and the other about means. First, meaning. Businesses increasingly want to offer products that are meaningful for two reasons. One, because more and more customers want these products. And two, because making these products is rewarding for employees. Um, large firms like Tom Shoes, Method Home, Patagonia, all offer products that are meaningful. But I want to illustrate this phenomenon of meaning with an example that's closer to home, the local food sector. The number of farmers markets in this country has doubled in the past five years. And it's not because the food is cheap or convenient. It be it's because more and more of us want relationships, both personal and economic, with the people who are making our food and making our stuff. And the farmers and the makers, they don't get into this business to become millionaires. They do it because they want to engage in work that's meaningful. Now, the farmer's market pictured here as a business model is not fully evolved. But it's a really interesting place to look when we're trying to redesign the economy around scope, around products that are meaningful and around meaningful relationships. Which brings me to my second point, the means. The engineers in this room are familiar with rapid prototyping tools like laser cutters and 3D printers. Having these machines is like having a mini Mac manufacturing plant right on your own desktop or in your garage. Engineers have used them for years to make prototypes of their designs and test those prototypes. What's new about this technology is that it's becoming remarkably accessible. Just as music production software is readily available now, anyone with a camera phone and access to the internet can now take a picture of a product upload that picture to a machine that will manufacture that product on demand. So just one and not thousands. And then, of course, the internet is a fantastic tool for marketing, selling, and distributing these products. This platform here, Pinoco, is one of several where we can already do this. So when I want to get a gift for my friend who lives in California, I no longer have to go to the big box store and pick out something that was made halfway across the world. Instead, I can get online, design something myself, or pick something out, and then that product will be printed at a manufacturer in her community and delivered only a short distance to her home. 
the product has meaning because it was made just for her by a manufacturer and small business owner who lives in her community and has the means to make and distribute product. Now that's a simple example. But the last industrial revolution started in a simple way too, with textiles. So I'm here to ask of you, when this technology becomes ubiquitous, let's not mess it up. Let's not repeat the 20th century mistake of manufacturing ourselves out of jobs. Let's instead make stuff that creates jobs and strengthens the relationships between customers and makers in our towns and cities. We live in a time when there is an increased demand for meaningful products, and we live in a time where more and more of us have the means to make and distribute these products. So please, make better stuff. Thank you.